Monday lunchtime. I need to shave quite badly. I mean, my friend Hisham Balouiz, the wondrous barber in the heart of Little Hampton. He's in Morocco on one of these, and I'm here not to take his place. I'm here merely for the shave. However, today, part two today of the Mastro Livi shave. Uh, my first one was quite a success, I was surprised. This is a very lightweight razor. I'm not used to lightweight. It's the Graffetto that comes with this kit. This is the slightly earlier model. Uh, it's now, uh, I believe, a Graffetto, whatever. Anyway, this is the Graffetto. And um, the Griffo, the Graffetto. But this is the rather nice olive wood. Very unique construction. Uh, it's made all from one piece of wood, which is clever. It has nice adjustable screw on the, on the side for adjusting the tension. Um, I thought I'd show off a bit more the components in the Maestro Livy travel kit. So there's the wrap. You've got the scissors. You've got the beautiful plastic lined but leather compartment. Um, you have inside this is the masterpiece. This is the travel loom strop. And look what's inside. Inside here, beautiful little brush. High quality brush, stainless steel, and you won't believe this. This is like a Russian doll. Inside the brush, you've got the Maestro Livy green paste. Tiny amount, just this is a, just for travelling. That of course is for your loom strop. Just do that up. I'm not going to put any um, green paste on. I've already tested the razor. It's a pretty good edge actually. It's hanging hair tests quite nicely. So just a couple of preemptory strokes. One, two, three. Well, I'm only going to do this very lightly. It doesn't really need it, but let's go through the motions. So this is uh, the green side, which obviously is very mildly abrasive. And then, of course, we have the very, very fine yellow, which I must say is magnificent leather. And this is what you need for your final few strokes. So that normally would be enough. As I say, I only used this razor once uh, in the last video. I was quite surprised. It's actually a pretty good shave, uh, particularly since it's my first time and I don't usually go for uh, rather smaller razors. I think the grind is quite interesting. It is a full hollow, but it's a stiff full hollow, which gives you that little bit of extra help when it comes to uh, either thick stubble or this is only I know. This is two days. This is a good, good two days of stubble. And my face is slightly tender because I spent yesterday rollerblading on the seafront with my gang. And so probably caught a little bit more sun than normal. Anyway, that theoretically is enough. All of the little clever roll goes around like that. This holds a cologne, it holds the shave cream and it holds the razor. So without further ado, let's see if I can wet the brush. This is going to be a cold shave. Very cold. Wet the brush. Now this is going to be for me, the extra treat. Because look, inside the pouch, there's the shave cream, the original shave cream. So I'm going to be naughty. I'm going to use a little bit of that. Only need a little bit. Work up a lava very quickly. Hmm. 
It's actually quite a nice aroma. This is the original. I don't know. I've no idea how old it is. But I don't think shaving lavas age or go out of date. So I'm quite happy with that. A little bit more water. It's a real privilege to be in a professional barber's salon in the wondrous town of Littlehampton on the south coast of England. There's nobody being murdered outside today, which is unusual. Normally we have swearing and fights. I think that's reserved for special occasions. I think that's reserved for Saturdays, which is when I did my last shave in here. That was, uh, I hope you forgive me on that one. It was not planned, it was not intended. It was just the local tribes kicking off. The history of this little town is very interesting. After the Second World War, London was pretty much bombed flat. And so they sent a lot of the uh, East End uh, poorer, for want of a better word, people down to places like the South Coast. Um, we needed more work on the fields and the land. <laughs> yeah, work. <laughs> and of course, huge numbers of council estates were built. And we then had the indigenous population of rural peasantry. They were inflicted with uh, the East Enders. So you've got this strange mishmash. And then, of course, house prices exploded over the last 25, 35 years. And, uh, and now people are even commuting uh, from here uh, to London. Also, of course, some people are moving out of London and coming down here to retire. So it's an interesting social experiment at the moment, which I'm involved with, living here. It doesn't affect my work. I've always been self-employed, always had my own business, and uh, as a military antique restorer, I've dealt with steel and blades all my life. So there's always been a bit of a kindred feel towards blades. And my dear old dad, God bless him, um, in his early youth, he, all days, he was a master butcher, and in the army, he got to the rank of warrant officer. Worked in Germany, wanted, they wanted him to stay on actually, but he didn't want to, he wanted to go home and marry my mum, which he did. And my brother and myself are the result. Anyway, that is a nice little brush. That is a reasonable lava, not the best. Here's the razor, let's begin the shave. Sorry I can't entertain you with more strange things going on outside, but you never know. You never know, it might kick off. Yeah, I'm getting used to this. This is a sweet little razor. I say little, and I know a lot of guys actually only ever use 5.8 and 6.8 razors. But I like to experiment. This is doing a good job. It passed my... Oh, look at that going past. <laughs> it passed my main maxim, which is... It's got to pass the hanging hair test in both directions. Now, a sharpened rusty bread knife will pass the hanging hair test in one direction, which is why a lot of people rightly say it's not a very accurate test. But if you can do it in both directions of the hair, so that the little um, scales of the hair get exposed, and uh, in one direction, say, easy peasy. Other direction, not so easy peasy. I'm just going to put a little more lava on because it's, um, it's still quite unseasonably warm. Usually June in Littlehampton is, uh, well, merely temperate. We are in the temperate zone, I suppose. But that is good. For a travel razor, this has a huge advantage. It is the right size of blade, more or less, I guess. Also, of course, 
which is a big thing, it weighs next to nothing. You talk about a lightweight. This is a really light blade. Strong blade. Yeah, there's no hesitation. I do, you know, I love deep hollow blades. Of course I do. I love the ultra thin deep hollow blades, but if you shaved every day, they'd be perfection. I do find if you've got, say, three or four days of stubble, they do tend to hesitate. This doesn't, no hesitation at all. Just scraping off the mess. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's worked very, very well. Quick lather up. Only a thin lather, I know. I don't care, personally. It's actually rather nice. I don't know. Being Italian, they really know this stuff when it comes to leather, when it comes to soaps. Normally I'd use uh, cello because it's my favourite. Here we go again. This is going to go against the grain. Very nice. Very good indeed. Oh, I forgot to do under my chin. There we are. Obviously I'm not going to go for a exotic multi-pass. I don't want to waste you guys' time. This is more uh, an experimentation <laughs> in how to use a travel strop and a travel kit and a travel razor. Yeah. Doing its job. Normally, I prefer a bathroom situation at home to use the mirror. I'm using my camera. You poor fellows, I'm looking directly at you now. 12 minutes so far. Thank you for bearing with me. Now, that is good. There's a definite rigidity, a definite stiffness in this hollow blade, which I rather like. Yeah, that's working well. As I said in the last show, it's probably not my favorite razor. I like my exotic razors. Particularly at the moment, Trevor Wolfson's. Wolf blades are without doubt the Rolls Royce. But at the same time, it's lovely to have a change. Now, I know I've said this many times before. I hate to be boring to whack on. But the whole joy of straight razor shaving is the ability to change tools. On point, I did four razors in one shave, all different sizes. But I've always got a few in the back of my mind I want to concentrate on. And uh, Trevor's needs some serious concentrating because his are delicious because this is a straight razor with a straight edge um, which I'm obviously used to as most people are I've got a couple now from Trevor which are smiling I like smiling blades yep yeah. People are still walking past. This is going cross grain and very comfortable. Yeah, it's as smooth as you could want it. Let's do a, a cross the moustache. Put a tiny bit more lubrication. As the actress said to the bishop, let's go for some more lubrication and see how this works. This is my first time using this razor, using this shop, using this technique, using my phone and not a mirror. Yeah.
And every razor has a slight different personality to it. This one's quite sweet. All the lovelies walking past. You don't see that on a Saturday. It seems Saturday in a precinct is reserved for the fighting clans. Uh, the screaming abdabs. Lighting in here is very strange. Do you know what? Well, it's very nearly done me. That's very good. Just do a little bit on the moustache area here. So, were you in a, a hotel or a motel and you wanted to take your straight razor kit with you? I've got to say I'd recommend this. I think there's a big market out there for people, I think they're called manly people who like <laughs> straight razor shaving. And like travelling. I'm not a great traveller. My biggest problem being self-employed all my life, I didn't take holidays. I now have forgotten how to do it. But I do like my toys. Yep. Well, chaps. I don't want to bore you to tears, but <laughs> for now, a couple of little bits on the neckline and I'm done. So at 17 minutes, 11 seconds that you've stood my nonsense. I do appreciate anybody that enjoys my shave tests, which is the name of my channel. Oh, I didn't shave tests, because I'm always testing, because it's fun. 17 minutes, 29. I think I am about done. Not an excessively exciting shave chat, but yeah, that's good enough. No two ways about it. No cuts, no nicks, no blemishes, no problems. Beautiful little razor. I brought my towel. <laughs> I won't use his shams. Uh, not that it's nothing wrong, but it's just a bit cheeky. I'm using his shop, aren't I? I don't want to use all his kit. Uh, by the way, just as a reminder that a professional barber knows his stuff, I'm going to show you this. How about that? That must be a lifetime supply of Arco. Bless him. And if a professional barber uses Arco, which he does, it's got to be good kit. So, a very quick wipe off. I'm going to go very slightly over my allotted time. Just to wipe off, I want to do one more little experiment, which was to put on a little tiny bit of Porosso. Travel Porosso. Porosso. Aftershave balm for sensitive skin. Let's just try a little tiny, tiny bit of that on my skin. Yep, that's nice. Now I can go back out into the sun. I rode here on my bike. I intend to ride back home. My bike is outside. My travel bag and shopping. My trusty blade. My wonderful little travel kit, which I shall now pack up if I've got time. If I don't bore you to tears. In goes the soap, the lava, the cream, that goes in there. There is a little bit of, um, oh come on, let's, let's go mad. Come on, let's, let's go mad. Right, here's a little spray cologne. Oh, oh, that's pure alcohol. <laughs> a little bit of scent, that stings very slightly. And then we put the white clean razor. I'm not going to strop it, it doesn't need it. This is a little surgically sharp razor. I'm very pleased with that. 
a good purchase. So that goes like that. We take the silencer off the tool. Obviously the little brush I will dry at home, but it is, um, doesn't really need it. This is the beauty, this is all stainless steel. So everything in this is very, very, very proof against optocidization, which with traditional carbon razors is terrifying. That's a beautiful little brush. It drops neatly into its handle. You screw on the top, like so. And then we put it all together, which only takes a second. And if you're on holiday, what a lovely way to enjoy yourself. There goes the handle. That goes inside. Thus, screwing home. And then you fold the stock, the green, and the lovely leather. That all goes together like thus. You then put your the razor and your lotions around it like that. I know I'm not doing very good at camera angles. I want to keep this as brief as I can. I'm being very long winded today, I do apologize. And then the whole lot slips into its bag with the scissors. But Velcro closes and you're done. Right, cheers. Thank you for bearing with me. Give it a tick, give it a like, tell your friends, whatever. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye for now.